All hail the Clicks crew. All right, we're taking a look at our day three Hero Clicks unboxing figures. Uh, so, pretty excited about this. This is the last pre release unboxing figure review. After this, we're going to be into the uh, official release of the set. So, thanks for sticking with us. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, give it a comment and a share. It really helps keep me motivated to make these videos and also lets YouTube know hey, other people might enjoy this content. Uh, we got a bunch of figures that we haven't pulled yet uh, for today's video, so I'm really excited to do it. But before we get into the video, I want to take the time to let you know that Mr. Clicks Flicks is sponsored by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama, home of the ROC. No matter if you're in the United States or around the world, Lucky Dice Cafe has the winning role for our gaming needs. You can visit them at LuckyDiceCafe.com or on their Facebook page using the link from the description of this video. Mr. Clicks Flicks is also sponsored by Trollandtoad.com, one of the largest online gaming retailers. Visit Trollandtoad.com and use the promo code MrClicksFlix for 5% off your Hero Clicks order today. Alright guys, so like I said, we got a bunch of figures to get through and look at uh, anything that we've already covered, which is only one figure. Uh, we're just going to kind of breeze through and then uh, everything else we'll do a, a deep slash semi-deep dive. And then uh, don't worry, there's also going to be like the full set review and stuff like that. Uh, so up first... We have the uh, Industrial Spy. Uh, there is nothing really that good to say about this guy. I mean, they, um, they, uh, let me get the, get him focused. He at least deserves that. Uh, they, they're okay, not great. Uh, they have Outwit, and you can use it twice if a bunch of conditions are met, or if a condition's met for keywords. And they got Wild Card. If you don't have another source Outwit, I could see using them. Uh, other than that, I would try to avoid this guy. Um, then we have uh, Quake, and this is the first time we've seen her in this set. So there she is there. Pretty cool. She's got the Avengers and Shield team abilities. Uh, and uh, here's the character card. Uh, so she's got the um, Avengers, uh, Inhuman, Shield, Secret Wars, and Spy Keyword. She's got that uh, Avengers Assembled trait. So that's pretty good there. She has the espionage trait, uh, which we've seen before, and is also really good. Stealth is good. Improved movement and targeting to ignore other people's stealth is even better. Then she's got this thing called Pinpoint Earthquakes, or just Earthquakes. Quake. When Quake uses it, you may choose one. Choose an unoccupied square within range, and she may use Quake as if she occupied that square. Or Quake can use Giant Reach X, where X is her click number. Uh, so that's pretty cool there. Uh, so if her uh, click number is 6, she has a range, uh, uh, X of 6, which is really cool. Uh, she's 65 points, like I said, has the Shield and Avengers team ability. She has that special, her entire dial. Uh, so it's just really cool. Uh, she's got uh, Empower for a nice support bit. Uh, five range, single target. So she is going to get some use out of that Shield team ability if she's adjacent to somebody else. She's got Empower to help. Uh, other friendly characters if they're trying to make close attacks. I think she's okay. Uh, if I didn't have another close combat attacker, uh, I could see using her. Uh, and if I didn't have a secondary attacker, I could see using her too. So she's okay and sealed. I, it would not be my first choice. And uh, as far as constructed, uh, this really isn't my style of figure, so I'd probably avoid her in constructed. Uh, next, we have Jolt. Uh, this is the non-prime version. Uh, so there she is. She looks kind of neat. Um, and she is an uncommon. She has the Thunderbolts and Speedster um, keywords. She has Assembled Bolts and Masters. And then she has this trait where it can't sit still. Flurry sidestep. Uh, when she uses sidestep after resolutions roll D6, 4 through 6, she can use it again at no cost. Uh, this can repeat. So she can keep... Uh, using sidestep basically down the board. Uh, that's a cool gimmick, but not uh, necessarily game-breaking. For 25 points, I mean, I guess if you didn't have... If you had 25 points left on your team and you couldn't put anything else in, like you didn't have Pepper Potts, you didn't have any of the shield tiny people, uh, I could see using her. But uh, she doesn't have flight or anything like that, so uh, she's okay. And, and constructed, I'm definitely not using her. Uh, next we have Winter Soldier, and again, another one, like I said, we, we were only going to see one we've seen so far, so here's Winter Soldier. Uh, I feel like they just, they do this pose a lot with him, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a dynamic pose, and it shows off his, uh, 
cool aesthetic. So, I mean, I know why they do it. Um, so, uh, he is a common in the set. He has the uh, Avengers, Hydra, Invaders, Shield, Thunderbolts, Assassin, Soldier, and Spy keywords. Uh, he has the Assemble Bolts and Masters trait. He has Espionage, which is also good. Uh, and then he's got this special on his damage, which is called Efficient and Ruthless Application of Force, Close Combat Expert, Range Combat Expert. So uh, basically a plus two to damage uh, no matter where he's at. And then he's got Improved Targeting, uh, can shoot out of adjacency, which is really cool there. Uh, he's 90 points, has the uh, Team Player Team Ability, so you can copy um, Team Abilities. Six range, single target, nine movement with running shot, 11 attack with precision strike, 17 defense, invulnerability, and indomitability, three damage without wit. Uh, I think that outwit really makes him a uh, formidable character. Uh, he can um, you know, outwit through uh, stealth and stuff like that with his espionage trait. Uh, he can uh, you know, pick up a team ability to really help uh, adjacent characters if he wants or uh, you know, just help himself. Uh, depending on what's going on on your team. I like this guy as a secondary attacker. Uh, at 90 points, though, he almost has to be like your main attacker. So I don't know how I feel about it. But there's enough shield people where if you pulled a bunch of shield, uh, you could probably comfortably run him as your main attacker and do at least okay. Uh, as far as constructed goes, uh, there's no way I'm, pay I'm paying 90 points for a 17 defense and constructed. Uh, that's just how that's going to be. Um... But yeah, I mean, in Seal, it's good. And this is a pretty decent uh, representation of Bucky. Next up, we have Happy Hogan. Uh, so, you know, what do you, how much are you really going to do for a driver? But uh, he has this... Uh, uh, well, first, he has the Avengers and Stark Industry keyword. So Avengers keyword is always good. And he's got this trait where it's a passenger 2 and can carry characters with the flight symbol. Uh, friendly character named Iron Man is given a move action. After resolutions, you can uh, remove it from him and give it to Happy, uh, which is really cool there. So uh, Avengers got a very cheap taxi in sealed and constructed. Uh, he's got a 10 movement with stealth. Uh, the only problem is that he doesn't fly. But, I mean, at 20 points, what did you really want? And uh, as far as his character goes, there's no reason to give him flight. But, uh, yeah, if you're looking for, if for some reason you messed up, you don't have your 50 points for Voyager and you're running a uh, Avengers themed team, uh, this guy's not bad for uh, 20 points, for less than half the points she is. You can still carry two characters, and especially if you're running an Iron Man, uh, I could see um, using him to uh, shuffle those action tokens around and stuff. So that's pretty cool there. Next up we have Citizen V. Uh, this is the um common version which we have not seen yet uh so this is the purple outfitted one uh they all look like the same but slightly different so it's hard to tell unless you're looking at the rarity tabs uh and uh she's got or he's got the uh living legend trait so basically once you ko them they can come back uh and then sidestep toughness v battalion and soldier are the key words uh, 55 points has uh, charge, blades cause fangs, four range, single target, leadership. Um, not the first figure I'm reaching for in my booster, and I'm definitely not paying 55 points for 10 attack up front uh, for constructed. But uh, you know, if if you're in sealed and you're stuck and you don't have a leadership and you not and you really want that fourth action uh, or a semi competent. Uh, close attacker. I could see maybe pulling for this one, but it definitely would not be my first choice. And and you better have a good ranger if this is uh, what you're getting for your close. Uh, next one that we're going to look at is this Iron Man Uncommon version. Uh, so there he is in his red and gold. Uh, and uh, so this one has a shifting focus trait. Uh, there's actually three Iron Men, uh, common, uncommon, and rare. Uh, that they shifting focus into. He's got the uh, Avengers Assembled trait, and then this uh, variable weapon system, which they all have, where you pick a standard attack power from one of the Iron Men on your sideline, and he can use that. Uh, he's got Avengers, Stark Industry, Armor, and Scientist keywords, and this one is the range combat one. It's got energy explosion, uh, so you can maybe pick that for, um, you know, your, uh, whatever that's called, 
variable weapon system. Uh, he's got a 7 range, which is fairly respectable. Dual target. 8 movement with running shot and flight ability. Um, 11 attack. 18 defense, invulnerability, indomitability, 3 damage. Uh, these guys, if I have no other flyers, I could see running them for that. But uh, realistically, unless I pull one or both of the other ones i'm probably not going to run these guys they just 75 points they feel a little over cost it feels like you're paying a lot for that shifting focus uh next is the rare citizen b so here you can see the difference in the decos there um so uh yeah this is the rare version so we got thunderbolts v battalion police politician soldier we've got the assembled bolts and masters trait Got another trait that's just Star Spangled Swashbuckler, Leadership, Leap Climb, and then uh, Legacy of the Battalion, Charge, Sidestep when Citizen V hits with a close attack. After resolutions, remove an action token from a friendly character, including herself, that is adjacent to the hit target. Uh, so that's just pretty cool there. Uh, and then, yeah. So we've got uh, a 60 point shape change in 20 defense. You know, can you do the charge and the blades? Uh, this is a much better version than the common version. Uh, this is for sure worth five points more. Uh, a little more longevity, 20 up close defense. Uh, if you needed a close attacker and you didn't have one, uh, this is definitely one to put on your short list. And, uh, you know, you can also push her to that click two if you needed an outwit. Um, probably would not push to click three for a perplex unless I absolutely had to. Um, but yeah, not, not a terrible figure. Uh, definitely better than the common version. Next up, we got Machine Smith. And again, this is still just an unsettling, an unsettling sculpt. I don't know why specifically, it just is. Um, so, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into him. Uh, he's got the uh, Masters of Evil Skeleton Crew Robot Keywords. Improved Movement Ignores Hindering. Ma uh, got the Assembled Bolts and Masters trait. And another trait, which is uh, Back Up His Consciousness, which is Shape Change. Power Generate a Robot Dupe by Standard. Um, and then, one Machine Man will be KO'd if his Robot Dupe by Standard is on the map. Instead, turn him to click number 6 and KO the Robot Dupe. And then, Special on his Movement, which is Plasticity Sidestep Stealth. What's the robot dupe do? Well, uh, they get to keep, by the way, these initial powers. But basically, um, when you create them, um, when robot dupe starts the game, choose a standard opposing character of 100 points or less. Robot dupe has the keyword, has the robot keyword in addition to the chosen character's displayed combat values and displayed standard powers. And it changes as that character gets clicked down. Uh, so these are really helpful. If that character gets KO'd, then it just has uh, what's on there. Uh, and then here we are. Uh, 90 points has an 8 range. I'm sorry, an 8 movement with that special 5 range dual target. 10 attack with uh, energy explosion. 18 defense, invulnerability, indomitability, 3 damage with perplex. So when he comes back on click 6, you are able to regen back up. Uh, pretty healthily and then you can still bring in the robot dupe these guys aren't terrible uh, I've, I've heard some people talk about wanting to use them in sealed uh, I believe that the um, oh what is his name this the gold skull from um, Avengers infinity has the robot keyword and uh, might work nice with this guy with those skull robots and stuff uh, you guys let me know what you think of that one in the comments below. Uh, I could be wrong, though, but that might be fun. And then lastly is the showstopper, Peggy Carter. Uh, I like this sculpt. Uh, I didn't like it too much when it was previewed. I don't know. It felt kind of like I know they were doing some jazzy stuff with the stars coming out, but it, it pops more in hand. So uh, pleasantly uh, surprised with that. She's number 75 in the set, so she is the Ultra Chase. That's what that blue background means. She has the Avengers, Exiles, Howling Commando, Shield, Past, and Soldier keywords. Has a Living Legend trait. Has another trait, which is uh, when Steve fell, I had to step up. And it's basically, if there's a 50-point Steve Rogers or Captain America, gets KO'd, you bring her in on her blue starting line. And um, whatever the excess clicks were that uh, 
that Steve didn't take when they were KO'd go to her, and then she's in the game for you. Uh, so, like, if your Steve Rogers got KO'd with five damage, uh, he took three and then was KO'd, the remaining two would go over to Peggy Carter. Uh, and then she's got this trait, which is uh, uh, when Peggy Carter starts the game, generate a Becky Barnes bystander. So if you do bring her in from the sideline, you still get the Becky Barnes bystander, which is pretty decent. Um, she's got that uh, 8 movement with sidestep, 11 attack, 18 defense with combat reflexes in Dom, and 2 damage with close combat expert for range single target. So a good little close combat figure. And then... Uh, here is Peggy's dial. 75 points and 50 points. Six range, single target. Has a nine movement with charge. 12 attack with precision strike. 19 defense with defend and indomitability. Four damage with um, leadership. And then at 50 points, she has an eight movement with charge. 11 attack, precision strike. 18 defense, toughness. Three damage with uh, leadership. Uh, I like both um it's a little tough to call i if i pulled her i could see playing her at 75 kind of letting her letting her hang out in the back until late in the game where you know hopefully my opponent has a bunch of 10 uh attack figures like everybody got whittled down to a 10 attack nine attack maybe Put, bring her in with that 19 defense and just you know kind of laugh and be like okay good luck uh, rolling your 10 uh she's got a good assortment of keywords um i the only way though that i think she's going to see play in constructed is if people play that steve rogers rare a lot uh then i could see her coming in uh after he gets ko'd so uh just something to think about there so you guys let me know what your favorite figure was in this preview i always enjoy reading that stuff let me know uh, what you pulled at your pre-release events and what team you ran that's always interesting too uh, make sure to check back hit that bell notification uh, because there will be official release unboxings uh, there's going to be at least a case and a half unboxed on the channel as well as a full set review uh, probably a brick giveaway too so make sure to stay tuned for all that stuff all right guys that's all i have for you today as always please remember this uncritical miss if you don't have probability control